Red tide is inundating Bay Area beaches with rotting fish right at the height of tourist season. For families denied a vacation during the pandemic, the toxic algae is keeping them off the shores and searching for an alternative. Megan Gannon spoke with a family that drove 20 hours from Wisconsin to Indian Shores Beach. She joins us from Pinellas County tonight with their story. The Bellevilles got an Airbnb right here on Indian Shores Beach for a reason, but they tell me they feel a little misled about how bad the red tide is out here. When the Bellevilles arrived at their beach house in Indian Shores, they were welcomed by the sights and smells of red tide. Um, we all kind of had some symptom. Um, my husband had burning eyes, like my chest was really tight, my throat was really sore. Just kind of instantly a little let down and a little stressed, like, uh oh, it is really bad. Are we going to really stay this whole week? They knew Red Tide was in the area before coming on this trip, even joining a local Facebook group to stay informed. But they were still shocked with how bad it was. Everyone kind of was posting, like, great day at the beach, like, it's okay, like, great day at the beach, like, stop spreading false information it's fine so we thought that it would be fine too. The family of five has either been inside the Airbnb or exploring other Bay Area attractions. I mean, we pretty much just like leave um, to go other places. Something they didn't originally plan. But I definitely spent a lot more than what I planned on on this trip. Trying to make the best of their family vacation. We've tried to be optimistic for our kids because you know this is a big trip for them and we just wanted to make the most of it for them. Now the family tells me this has not turned them away for good. They will be back to vacation here just as long as there's no red tide. Reporting in Indian Shores, Megan Gannon, eight on your side.